Yesterday, I got a message on Discord from someone who watches this channel. They told me they found a high severity vulnerability on a bug bounty program, and at first, I didn't think much of it. Then they showed me how they found it. They used Avano, which is my platform. So in today's video, I'll show you what the vulnerability was, how silly it was, and also at the end of the video, I'll show you how to get access to Avano for completely free. And the biggest plot twist, in my opinion, is that I covered this exact type of vulnerability already on my channel channel. Before I continue, I want to be very clear about something. What you just saw did not happen by accident. The person in this video did not get lucky, they didn't brute force anything, they followed a process, the same one I teach. Right now, I run three courses. The game hacking course, a bug bounty course, as well as an API hacking course. Every single course gives you a full access to Avino for free. No trial, no subscription, just forever. If you want to keep watching videos and wondering how people find bugs, that's totally fine. But if you want to actually be the person sending messages to me like these, then click the link below. So what was this very crazy vulnerability I'm talking about? Well, this would be an example website I'm going to use to just basically showcase this vulnerability, but don't worry, it is basically vulnerable to same issue, it's just a different website because I cannot show it on an actual one. So don't worry YouTube, this was made by me and this is not the actual Nexus Gaming as you can see it's hosted on me, so this is like a, a wrapper. The hacker behind this vulnerability will also receive his bounty by the end of the month, I believe. So let's hope he actually gets a really decent one. And I'll update what the bounty was. Plus, the issue is still not patched, I believe, as it's really fresh. So what was this issue about? Well, as you can see, this is a simple website. It allows us to log in and register. We're going to be using Burp for this. So just bear in mind, we're going to be using that. And Avino was basically a big part of this. What the researcher did essentially is he gave the domain to Avino. Avino went ahead and scanned it and gave him a path to follow, which ultimately led to this vulnerability. So Avino just te basically tells you where to look, where to hunt and so on. So let's log in. I already created my account on this website and it's attacker and the password is 1234-1234. I know, very secure. So let's click sign in, and as you can see, we're logged in. So this is going to be our dashboard. It's about games and all of that stuff, nothing to be worried about. Again, I put this website up just for this video. There's also our profile page and also a logout, very interesting. So let's take a look at the profile. Here is where we can update our profile settings. So we can also update like profile, email address attacker 23, let's say. And if I click save changes, it does do that. We can also update our password. So our current password is 1234, 1234, and we can update it to, I don't know, uh, so we can update it to 1234567878, update password, and that works well. And we can also update our password. So everything is working flawlessly and smoothly. So what was this vulnerability? Well, what our hacker did here is he went to profile, and he saw that this was the profile settings and i'm going to refer to him as elijah so elijah went here to basically see what is happening here and he created two different accounts when he created the two different accounts he saw that the actual id was incremental so the difference between these two in the id was just a number so therefore he had a very interesting idea but first of all let's see what happens here I will enable actually Foxy Proxy just for this. So I need to update my email address and I will click save changes. And as soon as I do that, I will disable this so I can go back to my burp and I can actually take a look at this, send it to repeater, and now we can play with it. As you can see, it is a put request. I do not have time to explain why this actual method is very interesting. I will leave it in the description so you can check it out, but it's very interesting. Check it out. and. As soon as I send this, as you can see, it says profile updated, true, success, and user, and the ID is two. What our Elijah had in mind is what if I could update my ID? Since this is a put request, and remember from the video I taught you about how APIs can merge stuff together, he tried to do this. He put ID here, and he put up a number here. Maybe let's say four. If you click send, you can see all of a sudden your ID is four. No joke. Let me send actually this one to repeater once more. And let me put here instead of put, let me put get and let me delete all of this. Actually, it doesn't work. I don't know why. Oh, ah, there we go. Fixed it. Forget about it. We can update our ID here. So that's very interesting. We can also put 1337 at click send. 
Oh, we're logged out, actually. That's weird. Ah, probably because we change our ID, so we get logged out. But regardless, uh, if I hit refresh here, I will have to be logged in. Okay, so let me log in back into my account. And I have to record this session as well, so let me just go to attacker profile, uh, update my stuff, I guess. Let me disable the proxy, and let's see it in the burp. So, oh my god, it still doesn't work. Ah, there we go, I fixed it. So, you can see, actually, now that I've fixed the session, you can see that our ID is hard stuck on 4. And there was very, a very interesting admin page, which says admin access required. And what our Elijah had in mind was like, hmm, what if I just changed my ID from 4 to 1? What if website just basically how it differentiates a normal user from an admin user is by ID. I mean, technically the first ever created account should be one, and it also should be an admin. So the request worked perfectly fine. And when he came back to refresh the page, he also saw that all of a sudden he was referred to as an administrator. If you went back to the dashboard and changed this to the admin, which previously didn't work and clicked enter, all of a sudden, it worked. Again, this current website of mine is a bit buggy, so there's a lot of inconsistencies, but the, the, point, the point was made. Basically, he hacked this website by changing his own ID to one, which was left, apparently, and there was an admin waiting for him to be acquired. In the end, he reported this issue, and hopefully he gets a nice little bounty for it, because, again, it is critical. There is a privilege escalation, a vertical one. Very interesting. Well, if you're wondering how to get Avino for free without buying any of my courses, well, there is a way. Once I hit 60,000 subscribers, I will be actually giving out Avino to a few people for absolutely free. So make sure to click down, subscribe, like this video, Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you, Elijah, for reaching out and helping me make this video. Stay safe, stay responsible, and as always, peace.